When I was younger, I had a mentor from uh, in America, and she would tell me about this uh, Oprah story she heard, right? Now, I never could verify it, but she said, um, once upon a time, Oprah walked around in black neighborhoods in America and was asking um, the kids, hey, what would you do if you, uh, if you had some money? And the kids were like, hey, I'd buy me the latest Super Soaker. I'll buy me a car. I'll buy me this, you know, this uh, remote control car, this, you know, whatever. This is the latest toy, the latest gadget, the latest PlayStation, whatever. Consumer stuff. And she then went over to South Africa and she asked the same question. She asked the kids on the streets or whatever, what would you do if you had a lot of money? And the kids were like, oh, I would, I'll, I'll buy me a, you know, I'll, I'll further my education. I'll go to school. I'll help my mother with her this, that, so on and so forth. And Oprah allegedly decides afterward, well, let me go and build a school in South Africa. Now, obviously, like, you know, because she was wondering where to put her money, right? Put it in America or put it in Africa. And she determined from, you know, interviewing the kids as to what they wanted, what they were concerned about, what their values were, right? She said, okay, I'll invest in Africa. And, you know, I don't know how true the story is. You know, just an elder telling me a story. I never watched Oprah. Don't plan on starting to watch Oprah. Uh, but it really had some profundity, right? Because really, you can judge a person. I know you might say, well, they're just children. Yes. But you can judge a person based off of how they spend their money. That's it. How they spend their money, or especially their unearned money, but how they spend their money. And you realize that it's it's not enough to have money. Money is not going to make you rich, right? Because people who win the lotto eventually become poor right after them, right? Uh, a lot of people. Money is not going to make you rich. Putting capital in people with poor minds is not going to improve them financially or economically in the long term, Right? Some people will improve in the long term. Some people, most people, won't. And that's when you start to realize that there are different people among our species. There are people who will um, ex like build things. There are people who will produce things. There are people who will expand. The, the people who will be helpful and useful. Right? There are people who will do things on this planet. planet. You know, and of course I call it more than leaf. Uh, but there are people who will do things. And then there are people who won't. Okay, there are people who just won't. And, and, and the question is, which are you? Are you a person who somebody puts capital in your hands? You create something. You make something. Because the reality is this. A lot of things on this planet cost money. You know, if I want to build a website, I have to uh, purchase a whole. I have to purchase a, a server, a web server. It's not enough to be able to program. You have to purchase a web server. If I want to build a game, right? I, I, I and I don't have artwork, art, artistic skills. I might have to purchase assets, right? I might have to purchase assets in order to make that game. If I want to build a restaurant, I have to build. I have to purchase a frame. I have to purchase meat. I have to purchase sort of stuff. It's not enough to know how to cook. But then the question becomes. Well, if I have some disposable income, what am I going to do with that disposable income? Am I going to buy that restaurant? Am I going to buy that frame? Am I going to buy that meat and try to resell it as cooked food? Am I going to buy the web server in order to host the website? Am I going to buy the course in order to learn how to, how to build the website? Right? A lot of people choose, you know what? I'm going to just buy a PlayStation. I'm going to buy it just... And, and this is where economics begins to become paramount even in terms of valuing or, or judging people. Economics becomes paramount because you start to see that in the event that like, like you start to see that some people do have that industrious path. Some people do have that path to build and develop and be helpful and be useful and to be something and a lot of people don't. And you're going to find out that some people start talking about, oh, socialist revolution, economic communist revolution, blah, blah, blah. They start talking about revolting against the people who are actually putting their money where their mouth is, who could have 
put their money into just buying video games, buying yachts, buying so forth. And you can see this all over the planet. You can see this all over the planet. You see very, very wealthy, you know, oil magnates, whatever. You see these wealthy people who have, you know, 20 cars, 30 cars, 40 private jets, blah, 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 blah. You see them and and they they have the ability to, you know, buy a restaurant, buy so on and so forth. And they don't. A lot of times. You have to like like at some point you have to say to yourself well some people do want to be industrious some people do want to be helpful some people do want to be useful and some people want to be helpless and some people do want to be useless some people want to play video games all day and that's okay play your video games but don't then get mad at the guy who chose not to don't get mad at the guy who chose not to get Grand Theft Auto 6 the first fucking the first day don't get mad at him that's all I can say.